Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Mike Tyson's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Muhammad Ali is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Ali's a smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. He's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it. He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Oh, and there you go. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. One, two, three, four, five. Ali's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? So he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Did you see that? All that talk from the Louisville Center. Now he's got to prove he's got some guts. Muhammad Ali is down again. A thriller here, a first round knockout. Fireworks early explode in round number one. It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done. Over. Fiend. Knockout victory. This matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you 
to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Opening three minutes of this ten-round fight. Ali's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he can just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand, the jab. Oh, a good right hand by Muhammad Ali. Double up your punch. Come on now, champ. Finish with the hook. So a lot of people would say, hey, this is a little bit of a challenge. Tyson's fighting a guy that can stand the outside, can move, can utilize the jab. How do you see it? I see it as a guy that Tyson fighting, the kind of guy that Tyson has prepared for since his amateur days, since me and Cuz even had him in the gym, because he knows that most guys are going to want to stay away from him, not only because he's short, but he can hurt you. So he's ready. Ali's clearly affected by that. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. He said he was going to do it for... And yet another big shot comes in. Ooh. Good, straight shot that time. Muhammad Ali is looking up at his opponent. They're always telling you to draw a straight line. That was a straight line right to the chin. This is the Muhammad Ali that so many have come to love. A Muhammad Ali that'll take the tough times and turn them into the great times. Can he pull it off after being knocked down? Focus, come on now. Ali was tagged right there, and now he's looking to tie up. And as smart as Ali is on the outside, he's trying to trick you, use that speed. He understands when he does get caught what to do. He knows how to tie up. So after a scary moment there, Muhammad Ali appears to have his legs back underneath him now. Yeah, the thing with Ali is, you know, he fools around with you all the time. He makes believe you hurt him when you don't hurt him. So you're never really sure. He throws his opponent off a little bit. Overhand right can be so effective. End of round one. Ali's corner has to come up with a game plan now. They need to advise their fighter as to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that, hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel them ropes, move away. Trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pit. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick. And then get back into the flow. Ali with a right hand. Targeting upstairs. That's a hook right to the flank. Blocks that punch. Two good jabs by Mike Tyson. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Muhammad Ali goes down. Ali is down, and his opponent put him there with a precision, perfectly placed power punch.
Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitor. Thanks for being with us ringside. Good evening, everybody. Opening round scheduled for 10. Tyson's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. That's a really fine looking uppercut by Ali. Tyson's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. That's an impactful right hand by Muhammad Ali. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Iron Mike lands the... Wow! I'll tell you, what a great job by Muhammad Ali's opponent that time. Listen, Ali's a better fighter. Ali's got more experience. But just going out there and making it happen, throwing enough stuff, sometimes it works. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Punching me. Punching me. Ali's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And he just holds on there. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Fans have certain expectations when they come to a Mike Tyson fight. They don't mind if it ends in 20 seconds. Do you expect it to be a quick one tonight? Tyson expects it to. And that's more important than what I expect. He's going to go out there and he's going to put his best foot forward to make that happen. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He carries that punch intended for the head. Muhammad Ali's been hurt. Big shot there. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Stopping this fight, Tyson's ultimate highlight, a first-round KO. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.